Hi guys, this is my video counting down to your exams, which I know some of you have already started and your science exams may have already started or they'll be in a week or so. So it's those last minute tips for you. And Lyra's here to stick her leg out and also to help share these tips. She does like me really. Look at her, such a happy little cat. Anyway, so the first thing guys is to relax because I'm getting some emails from some of you guys and you're so stressed out. Go remember that everyone's in the same boat. Don't compare yourself to other people. You need to try and think about your own work, your own progress, and you need to stay calm because only when you're calm will you be able to think nice and clearly. And that involves getting lots of sleep. I don't want anyone pulling any all-nighters at this point. It's not sensible. You need to be getting those seven, eight hours sleep every night. Similarly, you need to be eating properly. Try and get as many vegetables, um, fruits inside you, all those vitamins and minerals will really help you to think clearly, drink lots of water, stay really hydrated, you don't want a headache impinging how well you can concentrate. So when it comes to actually doing your final preparations, obviously you shouldn't be making any new notes at this point, you just want to be going over those topics you're less keen on, so in chemistry, if that's organic chemistry, you need to be looking at your alkanes and alkenes, maybe checking specific catalysts needed for cracking, um, hard process, etc, just those final details that potentially you might forget, maybe make a list. And if you make a list, then you can look at those notes just before the exams and make sure that you're happy. Past papers are really your best friend. Really, I think you should be spending most of your time now looking at past papers, answering those questions, uh, making sure that your knowledge actually translates itself into um, marks in the exam. So to that end, you need to be marking your answers closely to the mark schemes. All of these things are available online and making sure that you're actually hitting the exact points that the examiners are looking for. When it comes to actually planning your time, you need to obviously look at your exam timetable and make sure that you're actually preparing for the right exam. So if biology is your first exam on the Monday, obviously don't be doing physics on the Sunday you want to be doing biology. You want to keep your stress levels as low as possible, so that means being organised, making sure that your exam pencil case is packed, that you have all the equipment you need. So if that's a maths exam, you need a compass, you need a protractor, you need sharp pencils, rubbers. Bye Lyra! Um, so make sure you're organised because by being organised you'll take away any of that stress on the morning of your exam and like I said don't stay up too late, get a good night's sleep and just know that you're going to do well, you need to be confident in yourself and only with that confidence will you actually go into the exam with the right mindset because if you're already feeling negative it's not going to help you think clearly when you reach one of those trickier questions. So as always, do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Come follow me on Snapchat if you're not already doing so. And I'll be back soon with another video. But honestly guys, keep those spirits up. Your exams will soon be over and then you'll have the whole of the summer off to enjoy yourselves. See you soon. Bye.